hello guys welcome back to my channel uh, in this video today i'm going to be showing you how to update your flutter java gradual kotlin version in your flutter project in vs code specifically as you can see in this video i have a test application here it's already a built application with just a one page one page application i'm going to be using this project for this tutorial today and in this tutorial we are just mainly focusing on how to update your Kotlin version of your project. As you can see, I have a simple application here I'm going to play with. Let's just do some little changes and run the application to make sure it's running and it's fine. By the way, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe to our channel, hit the notification button. It's the only way you can support our channel to keep making such content for you. So, for us to update the Android. Kotlin code version we will head into our Android folder inside our project. As you can see, we have app Gradle. Then we look for the Gradle build or the Gradle file inside the Android folder. As you can see, build or Gradle. We we'll open that file. Let's take this away. As you can see, the Kotlin version is the first variable inside the build script object. So as of, as of now, my project is running 1.3.5 with its current version. So we head to Kotlin's official website to get the current and current Kotlin version. Configure Gradle project, build of the Gradle project, apply the plugin, Kotlin, Groovy, of our case is Kotlin. As you can see, the latest version is 1.9.23. Copy that. So, the latest Kotlin is 1.9.23. So, let's go back to our project, delete this, and paste the latest current Kotlin version. After that, we save the file. And then we have to stop the current running activity. And stop this that we can run it afresh so under inside our terminal under our project we can run flutter run so this will download the new gradual Kotlin version on runtime and our project will be running on the new gradual Kotlin version 1.9.23 so let's wait for it to run. And uh, for the Gradle Kotlin website, I'll leave the link in the description. So if you want to check it out yourself, I'll leave the link in the description of this video. You can head there and copy the link and have the exact link to the exact page of the Kotlin website. As you can see in the terminal, our project is rebuilding, compiling.
and finally our project is running successfully on the new gradual kotlin version so meaning our project is up to date we don't expect any errors of gradual Grad kotlin version okay guys thank you for watching this video i will leave the link for this website in the description you can grab it down there in the description thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel see you in the next video